The film is uh, a, a, a journey into the deep psyche of Marlon Brando, into his thoughts, as narrated by him himself. And, uh, and he seeks to um, unravel um, for himself and the audience um, the, uh, his character, his life, and, um, and some of the tragedies which um, befell him, especially in the final years. We came across the voice notes as a result of the uh, myself and a friend in Los Angeles having the idea of making a film about Marlon Brando, us then discovering that the estate had an archive of some sort and were interested in the idea of a documentary being made. The estate then subsequently making contact with me to say, would you really be interested in producing a film about Marlon? To which I said yes, and I went to meet with them and they, once we once we sort of agreed that we were going to be the people who would go away and try and make this film, they said, oh, by the way, we have this archive. We don't quite yet know exactly what's in it, but we're happy if you look at whatever there is and we will make whatever we find and whatever we have available to you. And so that's how we started to discover all these audio recordings and then subsequently discovered 300 hours of them. Um, I think Brando was mildly eccentric, but, you know, I think, I think that genius is definitely a word you could bandy about for him. I mean, he was, um, it was interesting, a lot of his family said that had he not become an actor, that he could have uh, as well thrived as a university professor. Um, and he was fascinated by um, learning, very self-taught, he didn't have an education really growing up, uh, but spent a whole life buried in books and, um, and studying, and studying uh, um, people as well. He was fascinated by human behaviour and I think unlike any other actor, um, I can't imagine anyone would have to share his obsession for all the things that make us tick. Um, so um, it wasn't it wasn't just um, seat of your pants stuff. His acting it was it was really based on a lot of research, um, and um, and 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 interest and and um, you know. But they all combined in him. There was a lot of elements that made him a great actor. It was this, it was this it was this curiosity. It was a sense of courage and or courageousness when it came to um, uh, acting in parts that were so far removed from himself. Um, he had the looks. Um, he was rebellious as well for um, the early times. So, um, you know, whether those combine to make um, uh, uh, um, a genius, um, I, I think there's a case for that. Um, but mildly eccentric. I think he was very, uh, he, but he wasn't nuts. He definitely wasn't. I, mean, I think the press portrayed him as being a bit of a crazy. And, um, um, but, you know, I think he was a very reasoned person. And what was interesting is how much he really sought to apply logic to make sense of, of make sense of things and make sense of himself.